are so glad you're here. Welcome back to our super special Summer Field Day competition. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a lot in store today, but before we do that, let's look at a recap of last week's festivities. And they're off on the scoot and plunge. They're going for the watermelon wow. spit right now. They're off to Super Soaker Solo. Orange team. We have a winner. Won the competition. Wow. wow, that was an intense competition last week. And you know what? I have to say, Orange team brought it. They took home the victory. They did a great job. Yes, they did, Miss Timber. Yes, they did. But just a reminder for you guys at home that each week our athletes are going to be competing and racking up those points all for one goal to win that gold medal. It's gonna be so amazing at the end of these three weeks. Oh yeah, Mr. Rudy, and hey, even though Orange Team brought the victory last week, it's still anyone's game, and I'm super excited to see who takes home the victory this week. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Our athletes are gonna be really pushed to the limit this week, Miss Kimber. That's right, Mr. Rudy, and you know what? I think our athletes are all warmed up and ready to go, so Mr. Rudy, what game are they playing today? This week is a team competition. They'll start with the human ring toss, where they will have to get their inner tubes on their teammate. They'll then move on to the three-legged race where they will have to lean on each other for support to get to the next phase of the competition. Next, they will have to compete in the baseball slam where they will have to hit and break a total of two water balloons tossed by their teammate before they can move on to the final part of this competition. They will then have to link arms and twirl down to the finish line. Wow, Mr. Rudy, they're really going to have to rely on some solid teamwork to win this thing today. That's right, Miss Kimber, because teamwork really does make the dream work. It really does, Mr. Rudy. It really does. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I think the athletes are ready, but we need your support, you guys. That's right. We need you to cheer on your teams. So pick a team that you want to win today. Yep. It could be any team. Pick your favorite and cheer them on the entire time as they're competing. You gotta be loud. You gotta be really oh, yeah. loud. They need your help, you guys. So, did you pick somebody? Did we you pick someone? You, 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 you got you one? Get, yeah. Sure. Orange, Good. yellow, purple, All? banana. Wait, that's, that's not a color. color. Okay, anyways, I think we're ready. You got your color. All right. Athletes, are you ready? just going crazy with the human ring toss. Going the human ring toss. Miss Kimber, I don't even know if they know how to swim with that many floaties on. You know, adults need floaties too, Ruby. I guess they do. All right, let's go. They wow. are doing phenomenal right now. They're onto the three-legged race oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Miss Kimber, I prefer walking with two legs. You're but right. that three it is legs better, is really hard. This makes this team work. Yeah, look at that. Wow, blue team. Blue team's going really, really Blue team really taking well. it home. They're going. They got some teamwork. Middle, 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 middle. They're hitting those and water balloons right wow, now. Wow, red team coming in. Wow, and yellow gets one and two wow, and, and three. Wow. Oh, purple's oh not goodness. far behind. They're coming up on them really, really, And real look fast. at green. Green, wow. And oh, yellow is the what? winner. Yellow is the winner. Yellow won. Wow. Competition what a comeback. Won. Man. They all we're so close, but Yellow got the victory. You did it, Yellow. Week. You did it. Wow, that we're was so amazing. proud of you. That was amazing. Dosey doing too, Miss Kimber. Yeah, they were twirling they around. Were I was surprised they didn't fall over. They were practicing dance moves before Whew, this. For sure. Wow, Mr. Rudy. That was a nail biter. Wow, I mean, wow. it was so close. Oh, but you so know what? Close. Yellow team brought it. They brought their A game, and they won oh, today's yeah. challenge. Oh, yeah. Wow. That, that they did, Miss Kimber. That they did. They were amazing. Now, kids. Don't worry, if your team didn't win, that is okay because we yeah. still have next week and you can cheer them on as loud as you can then because it really still is anyone's game. It's true, Rudy. You know, hey, here's the cool part. We have one more week and next week is the final competition. That's right. And we get to have our award ceremony and find out which team wins the gold. 
Yeah, it really is going to be really close. But yeah. I want you guys at home to still be cheering for your team. Wear that color t-shirt. Make those posters. Do whatever you can to be cheering on your team because they need your support. They need you. We're so glad that you guys are here to support your team today. But guess what? We have way more fun in store for you guys. We're going to start by declaring the word of God over our lives. So it's your turn to compete. Stand up on your feet. Say this as loud as you possibly can. Are you ready? Let's go in one, two, three, four. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now, let's stay standing and get ready for worship.
What's up guys? It's so great to have you here today. I bet having your summer with no homework is a pretty awesome feeling, right? So I gotta ask, have you guys had a super soaker competition yet? Or oh, if you haven't, it's the best. And the very best is when you can just explode a water balloon on somebody. Oh. Kellen, how's Miss, it going? Miss Nikki, what are you doing? Well, I know we're talking about teamwork today, so I thought I'd come and help teach teamwork because I know a lot about teamwork. And you were talking about getting hit with water balloons, so I brought some so the kids would know what we're talking about. <sighs> Miss Nikki, I don't think they needed to see me get pelted with water balloons just to know what a water balloon is. Um, it really helps them learn, Mr. Kellen. Right, kids? Yeah, Mr. Kellen, it's for the kids. <sighs> okay. Fine, but, but now I'm soaked. Oh, I have something for that too. Oh. Here you go. Well, uh, you came prepared. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go dry off. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and get the story started, Mrs. Nikki? Sure thing, sure thing. Hey! <laughs> Got him. So today we're talking all about teamwork. You may be asking, what is teamwork? I'm so glad you asked. Let's go to the campground for a campfire story. Wow, Mr. Kellen has a really awesome campground in his backyard. And I brought my blocks with me today so we can learn about teamwork. There's a story about a guy in the Bible who understood why teamwork was so important. His name was Nehemiah. Now, at this time, the wall that was surrounding the city of Jerusalem was really, really damaged. And it wasn't strong enough to protect the people in the city. Nehemiah had the desire in his heart to rebuild the wall, but he couldn't do it alone. He needed some help. Hey, Mr. Kellen, you're all dry now. Yep, but no more water balloons. Deal. Okay. Nehemiah knew that even though it was his vision to rebuild the wall, he needed help. The wall of Jerusalem was huge and surrounded the entire city. He needed a team to help do the work. It took a lot of people. In fact, Nehemiah chapter three is a whole chapter about every person that helped build the wall. It lists who they were and what they did. Some people were in charge of rebuilding the gates. Some people were in charge of getting the stones. There were lots of things to do and Nehemiah needed help with each part. That's right. Everyone had a specific thing they were good at and could help with. And because they worked together as a team, they were able to completely rebuild the wall. Everyone had a special part to play. Teamwork makes the dream work. It does. Did you know that the Bible actually helps us understand this? It says in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 that two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Hey, I have a great example of teamwork. You do? What is it? Making the perfect s'more. Oh, now this is my favorite prop you have brought so far. I know, right? It's awesome. Now, on my own, I can grab a marshmallow, but as I start roasting it over the fire, it starts getting hotter and hotter and hotter. When it comes time to take it out of the fire and stick it to the graham cracker with chocolate, it's really hard to do that with only one free hand, right? But when we work as a team, we can make the perfect s'more. Oh, doesn't that look awesome? Here, you can have this one. I'll have the next one. Thanks. So what are some ways that you can practice teamwork? Well, you guys have actually been doing a great job of teamwork already just by working with your parents to finish school. You and your parents had to work as a team with your teachers to figure out how to learn online. That is a pretty amazing example of teamwork. And it doesn't have to stop there. You can practice teamwork every day. Maybe by working together with your brother or sister to help clean up all your toys. Or maybe even working together as a team to get all the chores done around the house. Yeah, there are lots of ways that you can practice teamwork with the people around you. Each person is needed and brings something special to the team. Guys, would you pray with me? Let's take a moment and thank God for helping us work as a team with our parents to finish school 
and to ask him to help us practice teamwork every day. God, thank you for today. Thank you for helping us during the last few months of school and for helping us work as a team with our parents and our teachers. Would you help us to practice teamwork every day and to always remember that we all have a special part to play. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hello, we have a competition for you. We want to see you do something that requires teamwork. You can do it somewhere around your house or in your backyard. Get creative and ask your family to take a video of you completing your challenge. Be sure to tag us on social media with your video at Gateway Kids and your name will be entered into the drawing. You'll pick one winner to win this epic summer set, including your own surf and slide, water balloon launchers, a personal snow cone machine, and this three. If you'd like to connect, text CONNECT to 71010. We'll see you next week.